One of Hollywood's biggest nights has ended with a bang as Oppenheimer collected the top gong at the Golden Globes. Aussie actors also enjoyed a succession of accolades, including Sarah Snook and Margot Robbie's Barbie. The biggest names in Hollywood back on the red carpet. Hollywood is back! Comedian Joe Coy kicked off the 81st Golden Globes. I loved Oppenheimer. I loved Oppenheimer. I just, I just got one complaint. Needed another hour. While critics say his jokes fell flat. Like I said, I didn't write all these. Hollywood's biggest night didn't disappoint. How about my movie? Did you see uh, Somewhere in Queens? Um... You know what? <laughs> the truth is stupid, really. Demonstrate the importance of writers and writing. We ask that this segment be written not by writers, but by studio executives. Australia's Golden Girls reigned supreme at the ceremony. Elizabeth Debicki was the first to be recognised for her portrayal of Princess Diana in The Crown. No, I have to take it. I have to take it. OK. Uh, thank you so much. Sarah Snook was next in line for her role in the hit series Succession. Thanks to uh, the Golden Globes, this is really heavy. And Margot Robbie was tickled pink, her billion-dollar blockbuster Barbie taking out the box office award. We would like to dedicate this to every single person on the planet who dressed up and went to the greatest place on earth, the movie theatres. But in the battle for the top gong, Barbie's box office rival came out on top. And the Golden Globe goes to... Oppenheimer! The big prize just won of Oppenheimer's five awards of the night. I knew the first time that I walked on uh, a Chris Nolan set that it was different. I could tell by the level of uh, rigor, the level of focus, the level of dedication, the complete lack of any seating options for actors, <laughs> 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 that it was, I was in the hands of a visionary director. Roche Murdoch, Sky News.